terminus. It's uh, just after six or getting close <laughs> to probably seven a.m. Um, Border Patrol is coming behind. Um, about to start this. There's a wall. Um, people are starting to show up. About to take my first steps on the PCT, and uh, ready to do this. Um, a lot of emotions right now. I don't know if it's excitement, pure terror. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy right now. It's about to start. So um, there is one thing that I do know, and this is the cleanest I'll be for the rest of the trail. So made it to mile one. 2,649 to go. So uh, I know in the last clip uh, I was talking about just being at the terminus and it's just unreal. It's unreal. I don't even know how I feel right now, but uh, it's a gorgeous day. A little chilly. There's some frost on the plants around me, but the sun's shining. It's clear. Uh, I'm just really excited to be out here. It's amazing. Uh, it's going to be a long one, but everything's feeling pretty good. It is definitely a high water year. I think it's an El Nino year, but uh, we definitely got water along the PCT. Very cool. about <clears throat> 315 on day one and I've gone 15 and a half miles today and I've already got a couple blisters I stopped at a little creek and campsite and I was gonna eat lunch which consisted of a tortilla smothered in peanut butter with dried banana chips and some uh, peanut M&Ms sprinkled in for extra flavor and calories so uh, pretty tasty but um, I, I've already got a couple blisters and uh, my legs were kind of screaming on the way down here, and it's about a thousand foot uh, climb out of the little canyon um, in about, like, I don't know, a couple miles. So I just don't really want to push my body today. I've already gone 15 and a half. It's pretty good for today. So I will settle in in a little bit and uh, just kind of relax, do some stretches and kind of uh, just hydrate up and try to eat as much as I can tonight so that I'm ready for another 16 or 17 tomorrow and I'm going to slowly push that up to about about 20 a day but that's probably about a week or two from now um, just really want to take care of my body make sure I don't mess anything up this this quick I don't want to tap out too early so again a successful day one and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one good morning everybody Day two of the PCT. So glad that I stopped where I did last night. I uh, just hiked up a pretty gnarly, I think like a thousand foot climb. Uh, may still have a little bit more to go, but headed into Lake Morena. Was gonna try for that yesterday, but decided against it. Uh, got a little late start. That's okay. I'm gonna look to do about 16 miles today. Feeling pretty good. 
be as spectacular as you can see. Uh, it's we in this, <laughs> we're doing it. So um, just kind of cruising along and gonna check out Lake Morena. I guess they have a, uh, you almost just saw me trip and roll an ankle. So there's that. Um, never dull moment. But uh, there's a malt shop at Lake Morena. You might check that out. Um, heard there's some cell reception, so I'm gonna try to get some of these videos up, post some pictures and stuff, so that you all know I'm alive and okay. Check this out. So I'm just about to cross underneath the freeway. Not sure which one. I could check, but that would require effort on my part. And my effort is spent walking. So here I go, going underneath it. Um, day two, it's been a really, really cruisy, really easy trail. Um, I was going so fast that I felt like I was running. I kept waiting for somebody to pop out and yell at me, Why are you running? <laughs> so, uh, looks like some people camp under here. I don't know if it's hiker trash or vagrants. But, uh, it's pretty cool. It's been a pretty cool day. Uh, looks like the weather's starting to change. They said it's a 40% chance of rain tomorrow. So, we'll see if the weather holds up. It's been nice and cool, a little breezy. Super awesome. Um, so yeah, looks like got a couple of uh, water crossings. Looks like we got a friend on the next side. Looks like we got a bigger stream crossing that I might have to take my shoes off for. But we'll see. Hey guys, good morning. Back on the trail. Where my little babushka set up. I just almost fell off the cliff. So I'm gonna pay attention a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, wearing some uh, warmer clothes today. I got my sweet leggings on. Uh, it's a little chilly last night. Got in a little bit later than I would have liked. Got a late start yesterday. Um, and I got into a campground that was supposed to have five tent sites. And there was probably, I don't know, 10 people, 10, 10 tens, 10 and 12, um, a lot of people. Met some Germans, really cool people. Um, just, I love their humor. Uh, we talked about Oktoberfest, pretty, pretty cool. Um, everybody's been really nice. It was uh, a little chilly this morning, waking up, low to mid 40s. So I grabbed all my clothes, got them inside my sleeping bag with me about 5.30 this morning. Got them all warmed up before I put them on because there's nothing like putting on cold pair of synthetic shorts. Oh, whoa, whoa, the brush. Uh, so it's it's been pretty much uphill, but I'm on this cruisy little section right now. Uh, just kind of out here with pretty decent view. Uh, things are going well, feeling good. Legs were hurting a little bit yesterday, but woke up feeling fresh. Pop some ibuprofen and good to go. It's, uh, it's pretty windy up here. I'm just on the other side of Mount Laguna. Go check out that view.
sleeping bag. It's uh, oh, that's my sock. It's night three, and it is cold. Um, it uh, really dropped, and there's a wind blowing. So I'm already in my sleeping bag, and I've still got my puffy jacket on in my 15 degree bag. Um, it is just, it's a, uh, it's a cold one. But I thought I would take the time to reflect on uh, kind of last three days of hiking. Um, it's it's been a roller coaster. Um, the first day was hard saying bye to my mom and dad, and it was awesome that they were able to drop me off and. They watched me take my first steps on the PCT, and uh, that was really cool that I have their encouragement. And but uh, then it was just unreal. I was just hiking with the adrenaline and hauling, <laughs> hauling some ass. Made 15 miles pretty quick. Um, got into a campsite and we're on like two. Started at seven, and uh, nice little creek. And I just set up camp because I just didn't want to push it. And it was good that I did because the hike out of that campsite was pretty much a straight up it would it would have it would have done damage um, as it stands my feet are kind of swollen um, everything's a little achy but nothing too bad my left knee's been hurting a little bit and I've got a couple blisters uh, the chafe is real I think right now that the chafe is the hardest thing that I'm dealing with and then yesterday I, I don't really remember much of what happened yesterday it was just hiking nothing too memorable then today was just it was actually pretty cool really great views uh, the wind was whipping I mean it, it had to have been 30 40 plus mile an hour gusts I mean probably more but I like to embellish so I don't know exactly um, you know how uh, how strong the winds were but I mean I had to brace myself so uh, felt like it was gonna knock me over and, uh, so, got to this campsite, um, it's not really a campsite, but I found a nice little spot with some pine duff, and, uh, a nice little soft spot, hopefully it's out of the wind, it's unfortunately right next to a highway, so I'm hoping it's a small one, and, uh, it's not gonna be too much traffic, but with the wind, it doesn't really matter, and there's a bunch of frogs the first night, so loud all night, and there was like a gopher, like popping his head like underneath my vestibule so I was like super paranoid and I kept <laughs> flashing my flashlight at him and uh, trying to scare him away didn't know what it was I thought it was a mouse trying to rip through my tent first night and I wasn't gonna let that happen so uh, I well I mean I didn't scare it off because <laughs> it wasn't a mouse but tents intact and um, just looking forward to getting some sleep tonight um, Really looking forward to meeting up with my brother and Julian for some pie. Looking forward to it. That's a couple days away, but uh, so far cruising about 15 miles every day. I'm about 48 miles in, day three, so uh, it, it's pretty good. I'm really excited to be out here. Everybody's been really cool, really nice. Um, met some, some really interesting people, and I hope that they keep pace so that I can continue to see them some really good people out here so um anyways i think that's it for tonight good morning everybody just cruising along the trail it's day four um i need to keep track of my days better uh this is what it's like hiking the trail and it just looked i'm gonna take a second i'm not sure but, let's see if I can zoom in. It looks like I'm gonna be going around that big boy. Going around, backside, who knows what happens back there, but it should be fun. So, anyways, having fun hiking the PCT. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous out here.
know if you guys can see this, but there's just hundreds of butterflies flying up and over. They're gonna follow me around as I just got over the, uh, the ridge. And they're just flying around. I think they're going from Mexico to Canada. I'm not even kidding, I think that's really what they're doing. Um, pretty cool. Old school. There's a bunch. Some people call them hazels. I'm not sure why, but it's kind of a fun name for butterflies. Hazel. Some people are afraid of butterflies too. I've seen people run and scream, cower. Oh well, to each his own, right? Doesn't this seem fun? 10 hours a day every day for six months? <laughs> I mean, you might not, but I'm having a freaking blast. Whoop. It's like uh, the trail goes right next to the highway. So that's fun. And there's a little creek down there. Although, I'm not sure that this is a riparia. I just filled up some water. I think it was a different one. They might be flown into the same one downstream somewhere, but pretty cool. I also saw three ladies on horseback because the PCT is also an equestrian trail. Makes it a little bit easier, so, because it has to be suitable for horses. A little fun fact for you. Oh. Watch out, big crossing. I got steady footing. Whoa, whoa. whoa! Up and over. Fun times. Hey everybody, I'm here in Julian with my little brother. <laughs> got some uh, got some free snacks. We're here waiting to get some lunch at the uh, I don't know, cafe. little cafe. Um, taking a zero day, feeling fresh and clean. Had a shower last night, I stayed in Ramona, um, ate some pizza, had some beers. It's, it's feeling clean and good. There's the brother again. I'm just gonna keep the camera on him. <laughs> um, Show him the town, man. But um, yeah, Julian's a pretty cool little town. The weather's great. Um, a lot of people are out for the um, Super Bloom. Um, pretty, pretty low key, but it's a nice day for a zero. Uh, planning to hit the trail probably around like four or five tonight. Do like five or six miles. It's a really big dry stretch. Um, and then. Uh, just do just do a couple miles in the in the cool evening and then set up tent and do a bigger day tomorrow and get back in the swing of things. It's gonna be weird hiking again. It feels good to take a day and a half off. Um, but anyways, it's kind of where we're at. It's good 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 times and catch you the next one.